I just got a secret all the way from the Pentagon. You're gay. But it's okay, you don't have to cry about it. Uh, it's just life, and that's uh, what you're living with now, so go out and just kiss as many uh, boys as you can. Even if you're a lesbian, that's what you have to do now. Because it's the rules for my sex. I know. I've eaten some food. Thank you. Look at me. I've eaten a lot of food. And I like that. It's a bladder cast time because I need to keep these going. Or else I look like a fucking retard making 74 of them and then, or more than 74, but 74 damn episodes. 74 episodes and they will stop and I will change the name and I will do a whole bunch of things. But right now it's by the cast. And it's the comedy, the best comedy, bestest you ever even, never even seen or know about. That's me. Up and comer, the underdog, the one and only, the before he was famous. This guy, you're gonna see it. Shut up over there. You're gonna see his face plastered all over billboards, like that. And just this happy boy. Look at me. Look at me. I'm so happy. Oh, it's, uh, it's windy. The trees are a-swaying. I feel a song coming along. In the mighty jungle. In the mighty jungle. I like to swing across the jungle. Like Splaza. For legal reasons, I must call myself Splaza. Or Disney's gonna come and throw me in one of their jails. I got an itchy asshole for some reason. <laughs> Stop. Don't you dare. You know what I just did? Fuck you. We all do it. And if you don't, then you deserve to die from pancre pancreatic cancer or whatever the fuck because you're not a real human being. No, it's okay, guys. Come on, I've got layers protecting my finger from uh, the inner workings of my. Uh, of my booty. I'm in here with these two again. They've been alive for a little bit and they're gonna die soon. I got that. It's my newest ailment. Upon this beautiful face. Beauty doesn't come for free, people. You need your beauty sleep and your beauty eats. Your cheat days. And you need comedy. And you just need to be perfect. Like me. Huh? Huh? Fucking. You would never think that I'm tough listening to uh, me talk about these things, but let me tell you, I'm the toughest guy you'll ever meet. People have kicked me in my head, and uh, my head's just bounced back. I've been kicked in the head by fucking people that are fucking good. And I could be them one day, but and my current state, or in the state that I was in the past, I get beaten up by so many people. It's, it's strange how the more you train, the better you become, and then the more people you can knock the fuck out. But I'm looking to entertain the crowd. I do, uh, uh, what, what is his name? Alexander Emelianenko, the brother of Fedor Emelianenko, and then there's Ivan, and they have a sister as well. Uh, is Alexander Emelianenko, the guy who never cuts his fucking hair and is a beast. Ah, oh, you bastards never shut up. Hey girls, shut up. The little gerbils. The banes of my uh, limited existence and every second that they ruin with their scratching and trying to escape from their cage is infinitesimally more poisonous to my mind and causes me to become what I have always been on the inside uh, and then play play the black rap music
because the white one sucks. The only good, oh, no, there are some good white rappers, come on. Only joking about that. But we're five minutes into this video and I'm gonna start some comedy now because I've been talking enough. Ooh, 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 hey, ooh, ooh. Sorry, ooh, sorry, sorry. Oh, pardon, excuse. Oh, we are sorry for uh, disrespect. Don't be racist, that's racist. Idiot, stupid, cunt. N word. I didn't say it. I could have said nigger, but I didn't say it. Oh no, I said it. Okay, sorry. For no one, because the more you say sorry, the weaker you look, and the more people come up to you and say, hey, you said sorry. That means that you're a weakling. Boop, 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 boop. Let's let the image voice. Shut up. Look at this beautiful. Fucking beautiful. I'm tortured. Look at me. Emotional problems. That's why I'm a fatty. Because I don't feel. I don't. I don't know. Okay. Let me. Let me stop acting like a fucking retard and start acting like a real fucking retard. You know what I'm talking about? Take off one retard and put on another retard. Let's get it going. I'm gonna have to take these fuckers out of here for a second. Because they're getting too noisy. These fuckers are getting too damn noisy. I'll put them in here for a second. I don't know. Give me uno secondi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, what is all that? What is all the yeahs and the yahs and the knees and the hey and the, and the nitrate? What is all? What is all? What is all that shit? Black culture. You know what we do with black culture around here in this fucking place? We absorb it into our cacophony of personas, and we use it to entertain you. Entertainment. Straight from the motherfucking press. I ain't coming from no foolishness. But I kind of am. Okay. Okay. That's you. And it's okay. Don't kiss a man right now. Especially if you're another man and you're tough. If you're really tough and you win all the slapping contests in uh, that they do in Russia and you fly there and uh, you do that against Vasily. And he slaps the fuck out of you, but you still stand strong. Then kiss another man, because you're not tough until you've kissed men, if you know what I mean. I know. But do you know? You, you gotta... But you gotta... You gotta, uh, you gotta work it as gay as possible. No clubs. Because it's a show. You're not doing it for yourself. It's not for your personal pleasure. It's for the pleasure of everyone around you. So everyone can go, oh, especially in Russia, in the middle of Russia, go up to like a white nationalist uh, group that's now being labeled as terrorism or whatever, or terrorism, terrorism, you know, what is, what is terrorism actually ever done bad, you know? It's just, it's made people more happy uh, with living uh, in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Terrorism isn't that bad. <laughs> uh, you just see a lot of dots pointed at me. I mean, uh, terrorism is bad, don't do it. And then all the dots go away. And every time I say something like uh, a little bit controversial, more dots are pointing at me. <laughs> and it's just kids with like blue lasers, but they shine in my eyes and I'll go blind. It's that thing where you can shine it in a pilot's eyes. <laughs> I'm taking this plane down. How are you going to do it, the promise? Jama. <laughs> Mohammed and Mohammed number 73 uh, Mohammed 1 to 73 all died in suicide attacks I'm going to point a laser at it and uh, all the Mohammeds were white so if you think I'm racist uh, you were wrong they were all white people that joke was written by a woman
Okay. I can't do much. I'm just uh, I'm just uh, I, I want to be an uh, entertainer. I can't entertain you that much, you know. I gotta, I, I gotta work very hard to keep you watching and give you stuff to laugh about. So, Miss Guzzi, if it wasn't to your perfect taste, you know where to go. Subscribe to PewDiePie. You know what I mean? I don't even know what I mean. I'm, I'm copying uh, Billy. The fucking comedian, the best comedian ever. Uh, life is a roller coaster boy. Died from some sort of cancer in his mama's house. What? Two, two, two baby, baby. Should have gone naked uh, with a whole bunch of men and died there in an orgy. I can't say too many bad things. We've got people around me. I've got impressionable minds around me. I say this every episode, but I do. I need to get out. So I can just start screaming and talking about the real hard stuff. The hard news. The news that isn't as hard as me because the news is run by the ooze. Didn't say. Juice. They know how to uh, uh, sell food. I give them meh. Okay. Joke time, joke time, joke time. My new comedy routine. Did you like the last one? No? You didn't see it? Well, fuck me, I guess. But. Fuck you. You're gonna have to give me a second. Oh, wait, this, this, is, this is a long video. You're gonna have to skip forwards every now and then. Skip past a whole bunch of this fucking shit. Preamble. Fucking retarded shit. I need to get into it. Get right into the news. Get right into your. Okay. I don't got anything. I don't got anything to say or anything to do. You're stupid. Retarded. And people are always gonna try and come in and ruin my fucking shit. Because they're bored pieces of shit. Can't leave me alone. Skip ahead a minute. I'll get into it in a minute. Hey, uh, Mark 7. I went to Mark 2. Oh! Whoa. Okay. Bitches equal one big bitch. Oh, Josh Koscheck. Uh, I always thought he was uh, a bit of a throwaway, but he's actually damn good. Yeah, back in the day, he beat Matt Sarah. No, no, not Matt Sarah. He beat uh, the Matt that was a fucking champion. Matt Sarah was a champion as well. But who, who's who's that guy? He has a twin. He got into a big car crash. Uh, I forgot his name, but but he lost twice to uh, uh, George Saint Pierre. George Saint Pierre is a master. He comes back and he beats Michael Bisping. The elbows, the uh, chokes, and then Michael Bisping gets flash knocked out by Kevin Gaston, who has an amazing fight with star member Israel Adesanya. But that was that was a while ago now. That was some like, years ago. I think. Wait. Starbender versus your El Romero. 
tactical fight. So you could say it's boring, but you know, study it. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, Khabib uh, Nurmagomedov. Yeah, fucking master as well. It's fucking too good. He plays it very smart as well. Champ. Uh, Tony Ferguson. He said he wants to do. Uh, he's looking into baseball. After he's uh, done with MMA, that'd be cool. I'd watch. I'd watch baseball just for Tony Ferguson, just to see how he does. Don't really. I don't mind baseball. You know, I don't want to watch it, but I would watch it for certain things just to see uh, what people can do. I watched some baseball films, Forty Two. Uh, with the first uh, African American to be allowed into a white team, and then he does well and all of this shit, and he's uh, the gate that lets other African Americans into uh, baseball, and then uh, Moneyball with Brad Pitt and Philip Seymour Hoffman, two good films, and the director of Forty Two as well. He did uh, Legend with Tom Hardy, where he plays the two uh, British gangster brothers. That was a cool film. I like that. The fight where he has to fight himself. And uh, the stabbing scene where David Fluis uh, gets stabbed to death. But he was uh, he was very good in Fargo season 3. Yeah. I need to rewatch Fargo season 3. Uh, at least it's a bit violent and it's got some the Asian guy in that just gets beaten the fuck up by a woman like he's supposed to be a mercenary or something and he just gets beaten up all the time and then he's a sniper and the woman just I don't know about that though shit shit I don't know I need a cloaking device like Harry Potter Scar <laughs> self mutilate. He was self mutilating the fucking uh, scar into his head. Harry Potter, what are you doing? I hate life. Get out of my basement, you can't. That's what they were saying. They were all stamping on the stairs all the time. They hit him with the banana pies. He slapped his ass every time. He says, I can't take life anymore. He, he's in a delusion. He thinks he's a wizard. Loony. Loony. Looney Tunes. Remember Looney Tunes? I remember some old episodes. They're pretty funny. Tom and Jerry is the best though. Tom and Jerry beats all of that shit. Tom and Jerry lasts forever. The guy uh, who did, does the cartoons recently died or something, or recently, I don't know. I'm out your ball. Okay. 18 minutes in. Skip ahead to uh, 90 minutes to hear the best jokes you've ever heard. Coming straight from the top of a dome. <laughs> I don't got any funny things for you. I can, I can just act like a retard and just say a whole bunch of stupid things. And then maybe that'll make you laugh. Last time was airline food and submarine food and all that shit. But it's a joke. I know that's the worst of comedy. That's why I chose it. I chose to make fun of that. Because it's the worst. first cavemen to invent fire were all virgins because everyone else was busy creating the human race and evolving it was a choice between the two and they chose fire and uh, they were beaters and then the chads came and took the fire and that's how uh, it was invented fire they didn't know how uh, the fire works, so they allowed the betas in. And that's why we've got degenerates today who are uh, uh, screwed in the brain. They go to Tesco's, they buy a whole bunch of alcohol with the money that the government gives them because uh, they don't work. And they have fat wives. Fat, massive, big blubber whales hobbling about. And they're all sassy. Because they don't take no shit from no man. 
because then you know it was a fourth wave feminism and they're born right into it. I wonder what five wave uh, feminism is, they just shoot men. <laughs> and then uh, there's no laws against that because we have to respect women's rights to shoot whoever they want. <laughs> You're out to wear chastity belts and uh, put pins. I have to do genital torture. Muslim countries and they're slicing off of the bits. African countries as well. <laughs> African Africa is a country. One day it will be. When the bombs fall and then everything will be like uh, the film. Uh, what's the film? What's that film? It's a really good film. Bon, bon Raku. You know, I wish Bon Raku was better. I really like the style and the uh, story and the feeling of it. But it, it had weak action scenes in it. But it, it, it felt really cool. It had some really cool moments. It felt like a, a, a bit of a game. And I liked that. It was entertaining for me. I want more films like that. I don't want these massive Hollywood... Uh, Bow, uh, superhero films, or Bon Raku, or more films like that. Trigun. Let's make a live action Trigun. They'll never get it right. It's got too much soul. It's got too much. It's too good to be uh, made into live action, some of these things, because they, uh, they feel like. There's never the right director, first of all, and then they feel like they can't get every single bit in because they feel that the audience is dumb and they want to sell to the audience. Sell, sell, sell. They're too busy selling to care about arts or feeling. But why should they? Their main priority is to sell, to get people to buy. Why risk? Why risk? you know a formula works. So just ruin all of the best art in the world. Keep on making the remakes. Taxi Driver remake with a black man. I'd watch her. it. But it wouldn't, it, I don't think it would be as good as the uh, original Taxi Driver. Not because a black man's in it, but because copies are inherently boring. You've already seen it. That's why you need to see it again. Original stuff. Uh, it's too much of a risk. You can't be too offensive because of the woke culture. Even though we all know that. You go woke, you go broke. We all know that. Even the wokers know that. And they're all fucked. Woke. Feminists. LGBT. Uh... Those kinds of people, political people, those kinds of people fuck art up. And then they create their own art. And then we fuck their art up, and it's just a cycle of everyone fucking everyone's art up, and art's never as good because there's restrictions and fucking censorship, and you're not allowed to do this and that and that and this. Stupid, stupid. It's just like conversations in real life. You're not allowed to have real conversations uh, because you're weird. If you talk about too many things and people want a nice, easy life where they can go back and watch TV shows that they like, they don't want real conversations. Sam Hyde was right. He had too much fun. I liked his uh, recent episode uh, of Our Woman. Recent. One of his, I don't know if it's recent. I don't know if he made it like years ago and I just started watching it or something, but I watched it a few weeks back and it's pretty funny. I wonder what, I want the biggest chocolate chip cookie now. Uh, there's some autistic shit that I find funny. Just acting like a fucking retard. It's always funny. It's always funny. Because who can stop you from acting like a fucking retard when you want to act like a retard? No one. No one can. In public. I make everyone nervous. Is this man retarded? You can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. Excuse me. I'm offended. 
by everything. Don't you dare look at me, rapist. Okay. I am a hoy. I get coronavirus and die. I'm at risk. Look at me. I'm a fatty. Oh my god. Don't touch them. Unless you want to. Yeah. Whoosh. Whoosh. Crank it too. There's no comedy in this episode. Well, there is, uh, but it's like subtle and every now and then, and then you get hit with some boring shit, and then you get a tiny bit of funny. Things. I don't know. I have to dance around. <laughs> and then, like, fucking retard, is that funny? <laughs> is that funny? Or is that just. Is that just. Uh, this guy is. This guy is stupid. Stupid. Why am I even watching this video? Watch me. Absorb me. Into your soul. What are you watching me? Hey, excuse me. Go and do something better with your life and stop watching me, stupid. Click that X button right now. But first, click that subscribe button and the like button. I don't know which, which way it is. Is it a subscribe button here or here? I don't know. You should know these things. Fetish. This is where I get to do whatever I want. In this little box. Forever. <sighs> something that I, uh, I've been watching the Three Stooges and something that's great, something that's awesome, is still restricted, some of them. It's like, it's a hundred years, can I please watch some Three Stooges? No, because it's copyrighted. I'm like, yay, thanks for the copyright. You can watch a bunch of episodes on YouTube, and you should, if you haven't. It's better than it's better than all of this. To some people, to some people, they like all this. You know what I mean? They like that. Bleh. Enhance that audio. He sharded in his pants. I know that he shit his pants. I know. In episode seventy-five, he shit his pants. I didn't. I didn't. I'm cold. Of not eating pizza. And swap that with. Who's yeah, putting the heating on? My room is a sauna. I woke up sweating. I woke up in a waterbed and my bed wasn't even a waterbed. I woke up and there was a version of me which was the water version of me. And it said, buy and it turn into steam. And it left me crying. But I had no tears to cry, so I just went, <laughs> like that, for hours. Uh, in, in a corner, in the middle of my dark room. And then when someone opened the room, I crawl, I crawl into a ball and I scutter across the ground. Like a fucking animal. Give me all of your liquids. And I, I, I uh, like... Stab my veins into their neck and they suck out all of their blood. And that's how a legend was born. That's the man that I am today. Killed 73 people. Uh, everyone that's gone missing around Kent and London. Uh, I attack little kids as well. I put a plastic bag over their head and put a duct tape around their head and uh, choke them out. No, 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 you know what? I say, let's make a film together. And I get a film camera and I say, now this is a hanging scene in a war film. And then I hang them. And they're, they're like all good with it. And I say, I'll lay you down when the scene's over. And then they, they get strangled to death. And I leave them until they're brain dead. Take their bodies down. And then uh, cut them up into little pieces and just hang them around the place. You know, like a serial killer would. Just your all regular serial killer over here. Satire. Come on, I gotta, I gotta back, I gotta say satire. You know, I'm taking you out of the moment and out of the character and all that, but I gotta say satire because you know I'm trying to, trying to save my ass over here so I can make more videos. It's all well and good being taken down for saying offensive stuff, but I gotta say satire every now and then to make uh, people know that I'm just telling jokes. But I do kill kids. You know what I'm talking. About. Skin them. I wear their skin like Buffalo Bill and uh, 
Manhunter. He was in that film, right? And uh, that's what I do. I actually have it underneath these clothes. It's like I have a layer of uh, people's skin. And I eat their skin as well when I'm hungry, like uh, chicken skin. I fry it and then I, I eat it. So I absorb their powers. Absorb their powers. Take away his arm. Take away that arm. I want the power that he has. I'm gonna capture Usain Bolt and I'm gonna eat his legs. And my heart explodes. But then it's the Matrix, so all of the agents come and they like fix me. But then I've been outside of the Matrix, so they, they make me brain dead. Like in that uh, Animatrix uh, sequence with the black guy that runs so fast that he runs out of the Matrix. Like, what? Like, unexpected moments. I wonder if a famous YouTuber is going to find me. Hey, famous bitch. When you find me, tell them that I found you. And that you found a god. Look at me. Nihilist? Check. Uh, what, is, what is it? Cynicist? Can you be both? I don't know. Check. Cynicist. Uh, fatty? Not yet, but I'm getting there. I kind of am. I am in terms of like the world. In terms of the world, there are a lot of people who are really thin. And why don't they just eat a sandwich? You know what I'm talking about? I mean, come on. You know, if you're starving for days and days, just eat. You know what I'm talking about? Just go and get some water and eat. You stupid people. You people with intestinal diseases and parasites and all that shit. What are you doing? You know what I'm talking about? Blame your ancestors, not me. Just because I'm white doesn't mean that I need to pay you anything. It's not my fault that. Uh, <laughs> it's not my fault that we took you in as slaves. Get that little clip. It's not my fault that we had to look after you, you know? Being a white person, you know? Ooh, sorry for the slavery. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> uh, come on. A lot of people will get angry just for that. Why? Why are you so fucking angry? Why do you, why do you gotta be so angry? And why are you gotta take that little... Like, if, you, if you're gonna uh, say something bad about me, why are you gonna take that clip and not anything else? Why, why, why is that bullshit a thing? And then they, they run around and, like, point, bad, 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 look, he did a bad thing, and then they move on to the next person. That's all drama is. That's all controversy is. And then they're like, you said a bad thing, you said a bad thing. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to be in our society now. And I'm like, I don't want to be in the same society as some of you fucking people. You're degenerates. With the way that you think. Are you really happy when you're saying these stupid things? I'm allowed to say whatever I want in this life because there were no rules and there are no rules. There's just the way this is how you live. And I don't want to. No, I want to be. I want to try and change some minds and entertain people. That's why I'm making these videos. So you can watch and be entertained. I'm not Jewish, and a lot of the Jews uh, were the people that owned the slaves. So I'll be angry at the Jewish people, like uh, they actually are in New York. In New York, remember the stabbing. I talked about it in an uh, earlier episode. If, you, if you're a true fan, shut up. And get away if you're a true fan. And then come back and give me all your money, because that's all it's about. It's about me doing this, yeah, and then you give it, you go in, ka-ching, 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 and then I don't take it because I'm an idiot. Fucking, I'm going to be on the streets before I start getting smart. Quote me, I'm going to be on the streets before I start getting smart. I'm talking. I got, I got a little echo chamber going on over here, my own kind of echo chamber. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> Ooh. You know what I do? Three stooges. My nose is running. That means that my lungs are uh, pulling out fluid. That means I've got the coronavirus and I'm going to die very soon. It's been a pleasure to entertain you five people. If I'm lucky.
I get five people watching these videos. If I'm not lucky, no one wants to watch me because I'm too boring or just not what you like to watch. And that's your fault, not my fault. Eh, it's your fault that I don't get any views. How could you do this to me? I put my heart and soul into these videos and you just click away. Subscribe. Or I'll skin your children. I know. I need to get good at fighting and uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and MMA. I need to get my cardio back because I know that my cardio is shit right now. I fought uh, before I trained with no cardio and I couldn't even, I, I can't even beat a woman. I need to train hard. Train hard, train fast. Stay hard. Be better than other people. No matter what they say. Be beautiful. And stay beautiful. Do whatever you want. Because life is kind of just a little bit pointless. Let's, let's leave it on a happy note. Let's leave it on a joke. If you have children, you're very smart. And you're a sadist because you hate yourself. If you have children, you're going to waste your life away. And you're going to turn into a, a version of yourself that you never thought was possible. And that you hated before you had children. And now you're that fucking person. So, what are we learning from today's episode? Don't have children because they ruin your life. Literally, they ruin your life and a new version of you is created. That's another bad way to end it. Okay, let, let's, end, let's end it in a good way. It's not that windy outside anymore. It was windy for a tiny bit. Let's end it in a good way. I'm going to fight for, uh, as long as I live, I'm going to fight for my people. A white race. Sick hell. You know what I mean? And uh I'm only joking. Kind of. <laughs> nah. He wasn't joking. Hate he's a hate crimer. Even if he says satire, it's still hate crime. Uh well what am I gonna say? What am I gonna fucking say? You're gonna have to get me on a good day. Because I don't want to fucking say anything today. <laughs> this is me. This is who I am. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. This place. You can't stop me. You can't see me. You don't know me. You don't want to know me. Because when you know me, then you've never known a more boring motherfucker. You think I'm special? You think I'm cool? How about this? And I'll see you later. You thought I was going to end the video though. But you were wrong. You know, you know what happens. You know what happens. You know. Don't tell me you don't know. I find out where you live and I steal everything that you want. And you give it to me voluntarily. That's how, that's how famous I want to be. I want to be <laughs> dummy thick. I want to be... Dummy thick famous, where I get to walk into people's houses and they go, Who the fuck is this guy? Hey, hey! <laughs> and I go, Oh, that's right. And they walk into people's houses, Who the fuck is this guy? Hey, fuck my wife. And we'll end it like that. Doo -doo -doo. It's four in the morning. What the fuck? Hey, this guy. And I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> hey, come in. Hey, I like you. Why don't you fuck my sister? Stuff like that. Fucking stupid. Oh. I wasn't born in this body. I created it. Boom, 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 boom. And then I'm ready for. Help me! I'm gonna be rolling. By, by the time I get to train again, I'm gonna be rolling 16 miles to the gym. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Fucking that song. 
Rolling Bell, Rolling Bell. I don't even know the lyrics. I barely even remember the song, but it's a song. Okay. I'm going to make some songs in the future. And you've got to listen to it. And you've got to listen to my old songs as well. They're all my babies. And if you say anything bad about any of them, I'll skin yours. If you ever have them. You choose not to. Then you're kind of going against uh, your humanity. And if you think you're special by doing that, don't be special. Be like everyone else. Because uh, it's... <laughs> In the end, it's all just about being happy and about uh, having no regrets. So never have any regrets. Except for the fact that you wasted your time watching me. But it's a good waste of time, you know. You can waste your time doing worse things like uh, ODing on heroin. So I'll see you later. Alli- no, I'm not going to say that because that's too white. I'll see you later, alligator. Hey, I'll catch you on the flip side. Skizzle my nizzle. Fucking skizzle my... I'll see you later, niggas. That's right. Say hi. I'm not racist. To some people. To some people I am. What am I going to do about it? I'm supposed to entertain people. Any way that I can. Uh, And one day, I'm going to be naked. And get thrown in jail or something. See ya. Uh, I'm going to be naked in front of you. You're going to see me and you're going to say, Oh, I hate that man. Stop that. Stop that. Right now. I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'm going to beat everyone up because I'm going to be a black belt. Believe it. This, this is the diary of a black belt. What, 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 uh, oh. It feels like a party every day. Hey, bladder. Go fuck yourself. I can't, I can't. Take me onto Disney Channel. Let's have a, a let's have a fucking Disney XD about my trip to the fucking black belt. Fuck all of you. I'm out of here. And I love you all too. <laughs> Remember to give me money in the future, please. Love you. Ah, oh, I can't end this. There's something stopping me from ending this. I know. 